I'd love to end today's conversation with your thoughts on kind of like the future of customer success and kind of where do we head from here? Like the two buzzy things in my head are like scaled customer success seems to be pretty in vogue. Um, But then also AI. And I got to ask the AI question. Like I see, you know, I was listening to uh, one of the founders from Intercom talking about how AI is updating, you know, chatbots and things like that. So, yeah, I don't know. When you think about the future of customer success, um, where does your, your brain go? Oh my gosh, my brain goes in a lot of directions. I think a big category is around efficiency. I think um, organizations have pumped a lot of money into customer success organizations with the belief and observation that it moves the needle for customer retention and customer satisfaction and customer outcome. But there hasn't been a ton of pressure, I think if we're being honest with ourselves, on this job category for efficiency. We've seen some of this efficiency work through scaled success programs, which I am such a deep believer in. And we have a great scaled success program at Lattice. And it is made possible by good data, right? Like the right level of intelligence and triggers so that you can take some of the, some of like the natural individual CSM intuition that creates a really good experience for customers. Like how do you operationalize that? How do you automate some of that so that you're not reliant on a single human to be able to observe that risk or see that opportunity, but rather use data to funnel that into a team with the right level of information so that they can act on that? So I think that's a, I think efficiency in, in customer success is a, like the topic, I guess like efficiency and everything is sort of the topic. Um, but I don't see that reverting back to sort of the way we've invested in this function over the last decade. So I think that's one thing that's on my mind. AI, yes. I mean, across the entire CX tech stack, like chatbots are getting so much better. We're also taking so much work, so much work that like, and it's great because it's like work that people hated doing. Activity logging, meeting notes, recaps to customers, the stuff that like there was like some value in it because it forces you to synthesize and summarize and prioritize and all of that. But it's like this work we can now just totally automate today through AI. And there's obviously like so much more to come on that front um, in terms of how do we better leverage like the people that we have for like work that actually requires critical thinking and judgment. Um, And I think a lot of times CS in particular can sort of get abstracted from some of that work because there's a lot of like recurring work that has to be done or more like um, administrative work. I think the other thing that I talk to a lot of CS leaders about, maybe this is the last thing I'll say, is I think there's like at times like an identity crisis with CS, which is like, what is our metric? What are our metrics, right? Like in so many other roles you know, it might look a little different at different companies, but like, you know, like you always like in sales, like you always have the sales funnel and you've got the stages and you've got like, you know, you've got your leads and your MQLs and like, there's like a system for things and you know what the measure is. It's ARR. It's like new bit, whatever, ARR, ACV. It's like that at the end. And CS is always accountable to retention, but retention happens by the time you know whether you retained, it's over. Like there's nothing else you can do about it. And it's a never ending game. It's not like a sales cycle that like begins and ends. And then the customer is a customer or they're, or they're not a customer. Like it can go on for years. So I think CS is, is as a function is trying to figure out like, what is like the equivalent of our funnel? Like, what are our metrics? What are the metrics that are true across every organization? Because so often CS becomes sort of like this catch all of work that is just not either well done by the product or homed appropriately in another part of, uh, in another role. So it's like, it's do whatever it takes to make the customer happy and retained. It's a great note to end on. Thank you so much for the, for the conversation, Gillian. If-